Hi guys. Today we're going to talk about three types of women that are toxic for men. These are the women you have no choice but to avoid in order to live a life that is devoid of unnecessary theatrix. And I can bet you have met some of these women in your life. You might be going out with one, marry two, or be friends with someone like this. And by the end of the video, you'll know exactly who these women are. Let's begin. First on the list are what I call the drama club dancers. These are the women who regularly go out clubbing, having a good time, and salsa dancing with their pals. I'm not talking about people who occasionally go out for someone's birthday or anything. I'm talking about people who do this frequently. When they're with their girlfriends, they're dancing on tables or picking up guys. These are the women who were used to a lot of partying in their 20s, but couldn't let go of that habit, and so you will see them hitting clubs late into their 30s still acting as if they are in their 20s. They forget that age has its repercussions and that they can't handle a hangover like they once could. And if you ask about the reason they do this, they will dismiss the question and merely say that it is something they find joy in. When you break it down, there is much more to going out and partying than meets the eye. Think about the preparations that women need to undertake before going out. Despite the fact that males are typically accused of lying and cheating, we all know that women are experts at manipulating their words and sentences to persuade someone. These women are overly made up, shorter than they claim to be, and less beautiful than they portray themselves to be. On social media, their hair doesn't appear to be as glossy, curling, or blonde as it does in real life. Their busts aren't as big as they claim they are because they either have implants or are wearing push-up bras. They spend a lot of time, money, and effort attempting to appear desirable as a result. They do this, I assure you, to appear more attractive to the other gender. They aren't acting on their own or in their girlfriend's best interests. They're doing it because they've been used to it since when they were in college. The truth of the matter is that they are acting in this way to attract attention. They frequent bars where they are used to getting a lot of male attention. Just recall the last time you visited a bar. Every lady who is even remotely attractive will have received attention from men on all sides. Women love attention. The entire process of getting ready to go out, dancing with the other gender, and getting dressed has historically served more as a mating call. To see how dance is still employed as a mating ritual today, visit a primitive tribe in the depths of Africa or South America. This can be seen in ancient civilizations as well. The same thing occurs at bars and clubs, especially when it's some Spanish dance that's meant to be sensual. The second woman you should try to stay away from is the one who doesn't know how to manage her finances. Simply put, their financial situation is a mess. They are still in debt. Debt collectors are calling them. They are never able to afford anything. Always be prepared to pay for it. Simply put, they lack financial understanding and how it can make or break their lives. I'm aware that some people would compromise their appearance for financial security, especially older males with successful careers and wealth. They would not object to trading that for a more attractive younger girl. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I get the point. However, if you're dating someone in your age range, you should avoid these ladies who are so broke that they're living at their friend's place and still doing odd jobs just to eat and put on that makeup. You don't have to babysit them. They're on their own. Even though they might want a nice guy to come into their lives and load them up with cash, that's not going to happen with any alpha male. There is no need for you to save them. Let them behave like adults because they are grown-ups. I simply feel bad for you if you find yourself having to pay for their clothing, their bills, and rent. The next type of woman to avoid is the jealous one. That's the worst nightmare ever. I can still recall living with this girl I was dating in my 20s. I also recall that she frequently came up to me with a receipt from a restaurant or steakhouse that had been in my change tray from a Thursday lunch I had attended. She would point to the salad and the steak on receipt as she would examine them. After that, I had to convince her that I was on recruitment bench and that sure I had been out with a woman while looking for candidates for the firm I was then working for. She was creating a salad. I don't have to justify or defend what I'm doing during work hours. No one should. I mean, now that I think about it, there was a huge lack of ability for her to trust someone. To prevent confrontation, you must handle your own affairs. Any woman who struggles with envy or is envious will be a nightmare for you. By snooping through your personal belongings and messages, she will invade your privacy. I'm talking about the same girl that once peered into my walk-in closet where I stored some boxes in the back. I had some old photos in one of the boxes, some of them of my ex-girlfriend, and I remember her saying, oh, I discovered your shrine, with a huge grin on her face. These ladies will literally drain your energy, along with your sanity and your resources such as your bank balance. They will drain you of your strength and self-respect, 
forcing you to constantly defend yourself from her if she discovers a hair in your car that isn't her color. Again, I don't need to explain myself. We all work with people, and those people often include other women in who we have zero interest. When we have to travel to a meeting, lunch, or if we're entertaining a client, for example, occasionally ladies get in our cars. It's just part of working and needing to socially engage with others. These envious women want you to be a social outcast and live under their rule. Definitely stay away from them, guys. So, it's imperative that you protect your mental peace when you date women. Even if you don't encounter a woman from this list, you may encounter someone else that is toxic to you. The whole point of this video is to make you understand that no relationship, short or long, is worth it if you're only going to be stuck with someone who is toxic to you. You also need to avoid the drama queen and a needy clingy woman. The drama queen is obnoxious and needs to be noticed. She has no boundaries and won't hesitate to make advances on your best friend. She chooses conflicts for the most trivial of reasons, and very nothing can convince her otherwise. The drama queen is a pro at gossiping and is constantly meddling in other people's affairs. She is intensely focused on others rather than on herself and constantly makes fun of and finds fault with everyone and everything. You won't ever find stability in a relationship with a drama queen because her drama will leave you feeling worn out and overburdened. For the trained eye, you can spot her from a mile away. No matter how many times you tell her that she is lovely, she will always focus on the smallest defect. She always wants you to tell her that. Because she lacks self-confidence, she relies on your approval to thrive. The needy woman will engulf you in her neediness since she is the center of attention and her only goal is to keep taking and taking everything from you. A relationship with her would drain you and leave you feeling exhausted since nothing is ever good enough for her. Such women leave you feeling empty. So these are the types of women you need to avoid if you want peace in your life. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.